Welcome back. Um, so again, just to give you a recap. So in the last video, um, we expanded this um, theta MLE, and we tried to build up the case where we said that well, um, if we want to come up with the distribution of the samples, then the distribution is basically the product of the individual probability distribution, right? Um, parameterized to over theta. And then we discussed about some of the cons and um, some of the interesting properties of theta MLE. So um, we'll go one step further here and we will expand this equation. Now what is this probability distribution? So our basic assumption was that it was a normal distribution, right? Normalized over the mean and variance. So if I expand this equation, so let us expand this equation and uh, let's write this. Um, so what does it mean? The product of, I say well product of i equals to 1 to n and when I say that, well, the probability of x of i given theta, okay, what does it mean? Um, well, I know that, well, the probability is a Gaussian distribution, normal distribution, and uh, we know the equation of a normal distribution, right? Um, so it is basically 1 upon square root of, yes, it is 2 times pi sigma square, and then I have the exponent exp minus of I have 1 upon 2 times sigma square and then I have x of i minus theta squared right this is how the equation looks like now since I have specified here i so i maps to basically 1 2 3 and 4 and we know that well it is the product right so basically this is the product i equals to 1 to n okay so I'm going to take the product of this distribution that will be the distribution of my probability of data given theta okay so I can say that well this is basically the probability of d given theta this is how it looks like so um, if I want to maximize so let us go back so if I want to maximize then can I say that well <coughs> excuse me theta MLE theta MLE is argmax it's argmax theta which belongs to the larger set again don't get petrified by the Roman symbols and numbers um, it is a good way to symbolize the different things but um, it is important that we understand what is going behind okay so I'm expanding this uh, probability of this uh, product of this probability and I'm writing it like this. So it's under root of square root of 2 times pi sigma squared um, exponent and then I have minus 1 upon 2 times sigma squared I have x of i minus theta squared. Okay, so I have further expanded the equation for theta MLE and again I would request you not to get petrified or not to lose interest by looking at these equations they are extremely ridiculously simple okay it is just that it is symbolic um, in terms of the Roman letters and Roman numbers but um, one should not get scared by this okay that is the whole idea of producing these videos um, okay so this is what we have um, can we expand this further um, yes we can further expand this so um, let us say theta MLE is equal to argmax again argmax theta belongs to the wider set of theta now okay now what does this product look like so when I, I have the multiplication so this guy this this part is getting multiplied n times right so um, can I write it like this it is 1 upon square root of 2 times pi sigma squared power n because I am having n times it is getting multiplied correct and then I have the product of exponent and we have a um, we have a approxim we have an approximation um, I'm not going into that um, you can look into the product of the exponent expo uh, approximation so when it is a product of exponent it basically becomes the sum of um, on the inside right um, 
so what we'll do is we'll replace it like this so we have the exponent and uh, so I have 1 upon 2 times sigma squared and it becomes a sum here okay so I will have the sum of x of i minus theta squared okay so this is how the equation is going to look like so this is our final equation and we'll play around with this okay we will play around with this so this is our I would say the uh, well it's not exactly the final equation um, we will have a final equation um, once we look into one numerical example okay um, so this is what we have at the moment and um, so let's stop here right it is um, there's too much of mathematics um, so let's look into the real life examples so what I've done is I've written a small script um, in Octave um, I will take you through that and uh, we'll play around with this for a while before we hit the equation back again okay so I have got this um, Octave console open I'm not sure whether it is coming into the captured zone so um, let me just um, do something uh, if I can manage to get this uh, working or let's do one thing um, we'll discuss this in the next video by the time I sort this thing out okay so let's discuss in the next video I'll see you in the next video bye bye